What's up, you guys? It's Dunbar Snack Bar here. Going to be playing a game of Fight Night Round 4 for you. Going up against a guy who looks absolutely ridiculous in the faux hawk. It just makes me want to destroy him all the more. I have nothing against the faux hawk in real life, but this guy just looks crazy. He's a little bit taller than me, so his reach is going to be a factor in this match. Definitely going to try and stay inside and try and pummel him as much as I can. Like right here. But he does grab me right at the end to be able to recover. So good defense on his part. Way to get out of that situation. I wasn't expecting an early knockout or anything like that. But a knockdown's always cool. And I'm stunned. So I'm going to pull what he did. And I'm just going to grab on. And hold there until I recover. I'm going with the fight night round three controls. I do like the button system on that. So my punches have been a lot better. I've noticed so far. Got a lot more hooks. Had an uppercut in there. Going to be trying to lean more to those more powerful punches than just the jabs that I was throwing about in uh, the Fight Night Round 4 system, which, don't get me wrong, is not bad by any means, but it's just, uh, I just think the buttons is a lot more effective for me. The one thing I do miss, though, is blocking. I did like it when it was the left and right. Uh, triggers in the fight night round four system now you got to block using the right joystick either hitting up to block high or hitting down to block low it's an adjustment i'll have to make and get used to hopefully i don't get in the habit of like what i did in fight night round three where i just didn't really block too much at all got another stun here so i'm going to try and pummel him again to get the knockdown i didn't do it but at least I'm definitely working on uh, lowering his damage here quite a bit because that means any future stuns I have, bigger likelihood here that he's going to be able to get down on that mat. So far, things have been going pretty well. And it seems pretty even, though, for this first round, though, as we've both gotten some stuns on each other. And as this round winds down, that was an awesome last haymaker there. I'm not going to do anything here in the corner. I've got my points, and this is only the first round, so I think I'm going to save those up to try and see if I can adapt to anything that might happen. If you get some good hits on me, though, I'll definitely work on my damage. But as always, I will work on my stamina here uh, when I get some more points. During training, like I said uh, earlier in one of my commentaries, stamina was going to be huge. So that's really what I've been working on more than anything is just getting the stamina up for uh, O'Brien. I want to make sure that I can uh, fight my style of fights. It just means, because, well, I like to throw a lot of punches. I like to stay on the outside, though, as much as I can, which I know I'm not doing too much in this match, but that's just because this guy's got a longer reach than me, and I need to stay inside. But because I throw so many punches, I need to have the stamina to back it up, because I always have a hard time going the distance if I get into a long match. It's just difficult for me to try and uh, keep up when I have no stamina at all. So I've been working on it. Been doing uh, pretty well on it. Oh, what a combo there with the left. Uh, haymaker, that was a sweet left hook. I didn't get it again. I mean, O'Brien's been doing pretty well against this guy. I don't know if this is my motivation to crush him. But with that left hook here, I'm going to pumble him some more. Hopefully I can get him down on the mat. Come on, buddy. Oh, and I just missed the headbutt. I really do want to get the headbutt for the knockdown here. But a good right hook that finally sends him down to the mat after a long series of pummeling. Take a look at it again. Not expecting a knockout here at all. Only a five count. I'll take it, though. Points are definitely going my way in case I do have to go the distance, but hopefully I'll get the knockout here. Now, this Hall guy's having a hard time with some of the uh, punches to the body. He's just not protecting down low. So, while well, yes, I'm doing a lot of headshots, it's just because I want to distract him here from the body shots, and I want to make sure that each body shot I do counts. Ooh. Changing some sweet punches there, but he is getting a number of counters on me, which I gotta watch. I gotta block some more. I'm stunned though. I'm gonna try and back up. I got out of that one, okay. 83 points. Now my stamina 
Still doing pretty well, so I don't know if I'm going to go ahead and spend some points here or if I'm going to wait. Uh, I think I'm going to wait. We'll just start the next fight or the next round here, see how I do. Things are definitely going my way. Hall's been spending all of his points on uh, his damage recovery, so stamina is still pretty low. So that's pretty even. I think I'm going to spend it all on the next uh, or in between this round and the next one. A good counter right there. I'm trying to stay outside a little bit on this one. So I'm trying to challenge him a little bit, see if he can uh, move towards me a little bit and I can run down some of his stamina. Use some of the computer strategy against itself. Be able to do that. But I've had some sweet combos. It's definitely uh, apparent that the Fight Night Round 3 button uh, system here is going to be a lot more effective for me. Like I said, I just got to get used to the blocking. Things have been going pretty well. Pretty impressed with O'Brien's uh, ability here right now. Now I know Hall is not too much higher in the rankings than, than O'Brien is, but this has been a pretty good fight. I thought it was going to be a lot more even. Oh, I hit him with that haymaker and sends him right down to the mat. Sweet left hook right to the temple, which you'll see here. I'll do a couple more replays for you. Oh, right to the temple. It wasn't even one of those cheek shots. Two places you really want to hit somebody in boxing is in the temple and in the chin. So that is a well-placed punch by O'Brien. Not like I really had too much say in where that punch was going other than if it was a head or a body shot. But another five count. I guess still wasn't expecting a knockout there, but I was expecting more than five at least. So with his damage as low as it is for the end of the round, I'm just going to try and see if I can reduce that. Ah, I missed the headbutt again. You know me, guys. I got to get my one headbutt in. Got to get my illegal shot in there. I don't think I'm going to be able to get him down for the last part of the round, so I'm just going to hold on to him. One, to waste some time, but two, to get my stamina up so I can just wail on him for the last little bit of the round. Get a good counter. So this has been a good third round. I think I'm going to go ahead and spend some of my points here for the corner. Get my stamina up. Got 122 points. Yeah, I think I can afford some, some stamina. 100%. I go ahead and spend. Uh, I'll save it. Full stamina here. Going up against Hall, who's got looks like about two-thirds of the way for damage and also for stamina. So, kind of an uneven fight here. I wouldn't uh, be surprised if this... Yep. Oh, there's another sweet left hook. This one's just to the head, right above the ear. Puts his arm around me, try to catch himself, but he lands on the mat hard with that one. That was a sweet hit by O'Brien there. Surprised my left hooks have been this effective against him. I'm going to try and uh, remember that, see if my left hooks are just effective against everybody. Or if it's just against uh, Ross here. Let's take a look at the count. Oh, yeah. With that animation, it, it's obvious this is a knockout. That's a win for me. That was awesome. It was sweet to destroy that guy. Ah, oh, that's what you get for having a crazy-looking uh, faux hawk there. Celebrating with my guys. That's definitely a stat that I needed. So, yep, I won every round. That was pretty awesome. Thanks for dropping by, guys, and we're taking a look at the Fight Night commentaries. If you enjoy them, let me know. I'll be posting some more with Fight Night Champion when I get that, and I'll just continue posting a little bit here as well. But again, thanks for dropping by, guys. I appreciate it. Please subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Send me some uh, comments, and uh, you guys have a good one.